Hey guys, it's Lauren. This video is gonna be really exciting to film. I'm so excited. Okay, so I have been seeing those one star reviewed uh, videos all over YouTube where people go to like one star rated nail salons, food places, stuff like that. And I thought it would be a really fun idea to do a one star versus five star manicure. So I'm gonna go to a one star rated nail salon and get one of my hands done. And then I'm gonna go to a five star rated nail salon and get my other hand done. And I'm gonna be comparing it the salons and the end result. So basically I'm gonna give them both the same set of instructions. I'm gonna say to both of them, give me a French manicure and that's all I'm really gonna say. So I have a set of acrylic nails on right now and it's time for a fill. So I'm gonna see where they take it. So guys, it's still January, it's a new year, it's a new me. I've been doing some good things for myself. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks on Audible. So one of them that I've been listening to is The Evolution of Goddess. And this one makes me feel good, it makes me feel powerful. It's all about what it means to be a woman and the powers that come with that. I listen to audiobooks when I'm at the gym and like especially when I'm on like the treadmill. It's actually really cool to listen to books and not like sit there and read them, you know what I mean? Because you can do stuff, you can multitask and you can still soak in all the information. You guys can actually get your first audiobook for free if you try Audible for 30 days. You go to audible.com slash Lauren Geraldo or you text Lauren Geraldo to 500 500. Guys, it's honestly the best while I'm cleaning or doing my laundry and doing stuff that I have to be doing while I'm listening to a book. It's better than listening to music sometimes because I get to actually learn. So there's Audible Originals, which are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as literature, journalism, theater, and more. So again, you can get your first Audible book for free when you try Audible for 30 days. Go to audible.com slash Lauren Geraldo or text Lauren Geraldo to 500-500. So here I am. I'm at like some random ass plaza in some weird part of LA. I'm at the one star nail salon. I don't know what I'm gonna like tell the girl like why I only need one hand done. And I feel so bad lying, but I might be like, oh, I'm getting like surgery on my hand. But I'm just trying to get a real life comparison of what the difference is between one stars and five stars when it comes to manicures. Hey guys, I just got here. So I came to the bathroom and the bathrooms are actually really clean. I just want to note that so really clean and this one actually looks like cute and clean it's nothing like super fancy or anything um but it's clean so this is the official before of my nails and i'm just gonna ask for a classic french manicure that is all i'm gonna ask for and let's see Oh my god, guys, okay. <laughs> I cannot believe these nails. I cannot believe these nails. Okay, I'm gonna show you them in a second, but literally all I said was a classic French manicure. <laughs> like, he didn't even, he didn't even ask like how thick I wanted the white part. He just made it this big. And like, if this is your style, then this is your style. Personally, this is, not my style like I would never in a million years like when he started doing it he just started globbing on the white I was like <gasps> and I was like <gasps> oh my god so then he's like should I just do pink over it I'm like yeah and like you could see like the nail from where he just kind of like clamped it off oh my god but what I will say um the bathrooms were clean and the place was like kind of cute it wasn't like anything crazy fancy or anything but it wasn't like really gross by any means and something that I saw on a lot of the Yelp reviews for like a lot of the salons were like complaining that the people there were rude and he wasn't rude, you know? He wasn't like super nice, but he wasn't rude at all. But I would just never, like in a million years. Um, if I like paid for these, not for a video, I would be extremely disappointed in my manicure. So now I'm about to arrive at my five star nail salon. So I'm gonna give them the same directions, just a classic French manicure. And we're starting off with these bad boys too, so. Let's see what the result is. <laughs> oh my god. So I just sat down and I was greeted with a glass of champagne. 
and chocolate covered strawberries, which I most definitely was not greeted with at the other salon. Um, anyways, I showed her what we are working with today and she basically explained to me that it wasn't realistic for me to go from this and then keep these nails underneath to then go to like a French on top because obviously you're gonna see through basically what went wrong with this one. Um, but the first guy never really told me any of that and now she's explaining it for me. So we can't just go in with like a light pink and a French because you're gonna see the cracks like you did on that first manicure. So she's gonna fill these nails and then we're gonna go in with a nude color and then we're gonna do French. Yes? Yeah, do you yes. wanna say hi? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. What do you think of my manicure? Uh, manicure? What do you think of this one? What do you think? Yeah. Just you can see all the scars, not good. <laughs> yeah. So what these little like lines that you could see through the nails um, are called scars and it's not good. But we're gonna we're gonna fix it. So these are my three options to choose from. She said any of these will work. Um, I'm trying to decide which one I should get. I wish I could ask you guys, but obviously this is not a live video, so I can't have you guys vote down below. Which one do you think? I can't decide. Let me let me try. Let me try for you. Okay. Ooh. Which one do you like it? Ooh, it's so hard. I think let this one. Let me see your skin. Let me see your skin. This yeah, I like that one too. Your skin. Yeah, I like that one. You have to match your skin, look. Right? Yeah. Which one you like it? The middle one. Middle one. Middle finger, yeah. Yeah, that one. Oh, so you do the white after. Yes. That's not supposed to be, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like so far. It looks really pretty. And now she's explaining to me that when we do French, um, there's like a couple options that we have. So it would look best if we did, what is it called? It's like the triangle, triangle. Yeah, so basically for the nail shape that I have, we're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try the triangle and see if that looks best. And if not, I'll let you know. We're trying this out to see if this is it. Yeah, oh my God, it's so pretty. So this is the one star side and this is the five star side. Obviously up close you can see how much of a difference everything is. So the reason that we did this side like a different style is because she explained to me that because of my nail shape it would make more sense to do it like this because it would elongate my fingers and make everything look, like my fingers look skinnier and stuff. Um, which I really appreciated because the guy on this side didn't tell me anything, didn't even ask me how thick I wanted it, didn't really give me any options or choices or personalization or like allow me any room to make them custom because he kind of just like did whatever he wanted. So I really appreciated that this woman actually asked me what I wanted, talked to me about what would look best, and we decided together that this would be the most beautiful and flattering result. I mean, Come on guys, like, honestly, this side is just way better. Um, so this is the price difference between the two. So this one costs this much and this one costs this much. Um, yeah, so um, I told the salon, I'm like, I really need you to fix um, <laughs> the one star side for me. So right now I'm gonna go in and they're gonna take this off and they're gonna match it to this side so that I can have all five star nails because I'm not trying to walk around with one handful of one and one handful of five, you know what I mean? I'm trying to be a 10. So let's get in there and let's, um, <laughs> let's get it. All right guys, so now that I get to match my good side to my other hand, I'm like relieved, I'm not nervous anymore because like I don't have to like walk around with that um, on my fingers. But Michelle, who I've been sitting next to the entire time as I've been getting my manicure done, uh, we've been talking about it and- uh, It looks, well, the one that was here, it looks great, but the other hand looks tragic. She's like, um, if I didn't know you, I would offer to pay for that to get fixed. Yeah. So I felt like I just needed to include that in this video. <laughs> Iconic. All right, guys. So she has recommended that we go in with some silver on like the white part and we do the borders. And we put some silver around it. She said it looked really cute. So she's going to take this like thin little brush right there. 
and we're gonna put some silver on it and it's gonna look really beautiful. I will give you guys a little update. So I got my nails fixed, luckily. So both nails are good. The second salon did such a good job on my nails, I'm honestly obsessed. Towards the end we decided to add this like silver lining onto it. I don't know if you guys could see it in this lighting. But we added like a little silver lining to it. Um, honestly, with the first one, I was expecting it to be a lot dirtier and I was expecting the people to be rude because that was like a common denominator that I found with the one stars on Yelp with the nail salons. Like a lot of them were dirty and like a lot of the people were rude, which honestly I didn't find. But what I did find is that the work was very rushed. It seemed like he didn't really care if I liked my nails or not. And he kind of just like did whatever he wanted to do and my nails did not look good towards the end. And then with the five star one, everyone was talking to me like, what do you want? This would look best, giving me recommendations, taking the time. It took way longer at the second appointment than it did at the first, um, so yeah. All right guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Um, let me know your worst nail salon experience down below and let me know your best nail salon experience down below. I'm excited to chat with you guys and talk to you guys and hang out with you guys in the comments. Both of my nails look great. I'm really happy with how they turned out. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And um, yeah, I love you guys. See you next video.